My name is Gregory Hamilton, and this is the Highway to Heaven in 88 Steps. And today's day 65. And we're doing the same thing every day. What is it that I want to do with my God-given life? And what is it that God wants me to do with my God-given life? And sometimes it can be difficult to sit there and see ourselves in the future when we are trying to deal with the things in the present. I mean, fair enough, right? We're putting things in our notebook of what we want to be in the future, correct? And why we're doing our notebook and why we do apply bricks is so that we do see the progress, so that when we do change, we've, we can recognize it, see it within ourselves, know that it's happening, okay? And because we are trying to change, we have to realize that we're changing and that we are being someone different. And just like at the beginning, we're not trying to take away who we are, we're adding to ourselves. Some of the things that you might not like about yourself or what others say about you that they tell you to be different, don't act like that. Well, maybe that gift that was given to you by God could be something that would be to your advantage somewhere else in your life. I'm not saying go free range on whatever it is, but don't, you're perfect already. Just keep adding to yourself. There will be reasons for our lessons in life as we get older and as the things go on. So keep adding to yourself. when. And, and, and when you're doing this and you're adding to yourself, and the reason is so important is because if you're not adding to yourself, you're changing yourself. And then you're trying to be somebody else. And then, and then you're going to try to change yourself. And then you're going to try to change yourself. And then you're going to try to change yourself. Keep adding to yourself. Like I say, the things, the mistakes that you've made in the past, those are learning tools. So why would you want to be anybody different than you were? You earned those stripes when you join the service okay everybody's the same and everybody's plan uh, being forced to apply bricks for a while but after a while you go out and whoever applies the most bricks and does their most notebooks gets the most stripes and then they keep changing and they keep adding to themselves and adding to themselves you can't take away that they were once a private just because now they've gone up in rank and as a sergeant, that doesn't mean they were never a private. They've added to themselves. Now they still went through boot camp. They still have private mentality of what's necessary as a soldier. But they've added to themselves and have new responsibilities and new thoughts and new employees. For sure, right? So now also what's so important is that we all went through boot camp and we all say go through and become soldiers. But once that part is over, we're all in the same uniform. We still have to be ourselves because then you have to take your talent and be a part of a team that you can be at your best. So. You know, why would you want a someone that's very good at being a, um, you know, uh, why would you want him sitting behind the desk? Right? And, and, and the same thing. If, if someone's able to actually do surgery on a wounded soldier, why would you want him with a wrench working in a, in a, in a garage fixing a tank? We need people to be at the right place that fits them so that the whole thing can work smoothly. And it's going to be the same thing in life. You're going to have to find your niche. You're going to have to be you, though. And you're going to do your thing. And you will be able to then rise and keep getting stripes and stripes and stripes and bricks and bricks and notebooks and notebooks and notebooks. But nobody is going to just go into the service and just say, hey, I'm going to be a soldier and I'm going to go and become a sergeant and just give me the stripes. That'd be very dangerous. 
not only to the sergeant, but every person below them. They wouldn't know what's... I don't even have to explain this. So each thing is a baby step, and each step prepares for the next step, and the next step, and the next step. And you can't be yourself, and you can't grow into yourself if you don't take those baby steps and keep adding to yourself and keep adding to yourself. And I'm going to just keep adding those prayers for you and America. <laughs>